the next thing I need to do, so we've got those all um, cut, pressed and all sorted, so I can set them aside. The next thing I need to do is cut up some O and J pieces. All right, and I'm going to be cutting that out of the cream. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and when we come back, we'll be ready to sew these pieces to together. Okay, so that stuff is all cut. And next what I need to cut out is the, uh, let me just see, I need to be cutting out the stars. So I need to cut the center stars, pick a fabric and go with each one. All right, let me just have a look. So that's R, G, F and S. Uh, let me see this. Um, so, uh, G, um, F, and S. Let me just make sure. Yep, S, F, S, and G is the outside. So I need R and S is what I need to cut. All right, so uh, this is R and S. So that's what I'm going to cut next. So I need five different fabrics. So I already have this orange one. So I think I'm going to do a yellow one, a green one, and another orange one. So I've got one, two yellows, two oranges because that's classes of orange. Oh, I think I actually prefer this one to that one. Um, and then I've got a green. Hmm. It's really good because there's going to be a lot of green in it. So I think what I might do is do a couple of brown. Actually, I don't know. Actually, I think I might just do yellow and um. Yeah, I think I might just do yellow and orange. Do I have any of that left? Yeah, I could probably do another one of those. Like do two of those. Do two of those. We'll see how much, see how we go. Uh, I've got that one and that one. Yeah, I think I'll just, I won't do, I'll just do two orange, two yellow, and I won't do the green. Because there's going to be a lot of green in it anyway. I don't know, I don't know. Actually, I probably should do two green. Yeah. And two brown, and then two orange, and leave the yellows for the outside. There we go. I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll be fine. So right, I'm working with what I can work with. All right, so we need R and S. So the R is, um, so I need to cut enough out of this. Let's see if I've got enough. Yeah, that should be right. All right, that should be good. All right, let me get the iron up here. Set these aside right now onto the sewing machine because they're going to get sewn next. Pop them out of the way. Bring the iron up and get 
get some of these fabrics pressed. Okay, so uh, as you've seen before, I ran out of fabric, but then I found this it is slightly lighter, but when I hold it up against it, it's going to match. It, overall, it's not going to make a difference. I'm not really going to notice that big a difference. So I found a fat quarter in my stash so I can at least finish cutting those out. Um, it's it's a little bit different, but um, it's not too much of a difference. I'm just, I'm happy with that. It, it's going to blend in okay. I'm pretty, pretty okay with that. All right, so I'm going to uh, make it le make a start on these um, flowers and so that's what it's going to look like I've got um, a couple here that I have the exact amount for so I just need to make sure that I've got all my little bits and pieces so I need one stem and I need two of those for that and um, then I've got two over here and two of that so um, oops that's what I needed to do make sure I have separated because the leaves go differently Nearly made a mistake all right okay so we have our stars and all the rest of it so we have everything that we need i'm so happy that i found it um i just happened to look over and see it like it's a little bit like it's got a bit of more of a browner base to it but i, I might only need it for three flowers so yeah and um i was on sprints when i was talking about it and savannah popped on and she was going to go to spotlight but if i don't need to spend any money i don't need to spend any money so i'm pretty happy with that let me bring my sewing machine back Move this all over here. I had to take some pictures uh, for her. So I'm just going to bring that back over here. Put my cotton there. And uh, you can see that. Yep, yeah, you can see that. Right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to make the leaves first. All right. So I'm going to... Um, do, I'm doing three that have the same layout at this and then the next three 
um, will be different. I think there'll be a leaf over here and a leaf over here. Okay, so uh, that's how we're going to be doing it. I think I've got it done right. So let me just lay this out um, and uh, get it in the right place and all the things. I just, I'd much rather just lay things out and then I know that there's no error. Um, okay, so that's that one and then that goes there and then that goes on top. All right, I'm just going to do one at a time uh, for these bottom ones uh, because I just feel like I don't want to make a mistake. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I'm just going to treat it like a patchwork block and I'm going to um, put my needle in the down position. I've got a, a, um, a little leader cloth on there. I'm just going to finger press uh, these because I think that'll just make it a little bit quicker of a process. And I'm comfortable not using a pin. If you're not comfortable when you're sewing, um, I know a lot of people say, oh, you need to use pins and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm pretty comfortable not using a pin. If it's a really big piece, yeah, I'll use a pin, but... All right, so I'm gonna give this a press and then I'm going to uh, square it up a little bit because as you can see, it's a little bit longer. Sorry about that. I uh, just made a bit of a boo-boo. I just had to straighten that up while I had all the math in my head. So, um, yeah, I actually cut the um, squares too big. So, um, I because there's two lots of stars on here, I read the wrong pattern. Um, so I actually ended up making 
the stars the size the, on the outside, not the star size on the inside. So I probably would have had enough cream had I not done that. So, but that's okay. Um, I probably still wouldn't have because I had to cut the bottom ones and all the rest of it. So basically I have just trimmed uh, this down to sort of match this one to get to the same size. So I had plenty to work with, like it was an inch bigger than what it needed to be so and um one way and it was an inch and a half the other way so um i'm just putting it in now um which is good i've only done one so um that just means that when i go to do the next ones i can just cut the um the rec the rectangles down but anyway we have i still have to trim a little bit off the top but we have a flower that's all that matters, right? We have a flower. And uh, these are just, a, it's just slightly bigger. I've just got to trim it down a little bit, uh, this big one. So let me just have a look there. Yeah, I've just got to trim a little bit off that, probably half an inch off, and then I'll be good to go. So that was the first one I've done, which is the correct size. This one, however, is not the correct size. Um, so I will sort that out. You can see I've got plenty to work with. Uh, so I can, I can cut a fair bit off this top one. Um, I think it's about a little over half an inch that I've got to cut off. Um, I haven't lost my points and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, anyway, it's a quick fix. It's only one that I've done like that and it's fixed. So I'm not too stressed. I can fix the rest up later on. So yeah, so, uh, but that was our last sprint and whatnot. And um, because now I need to get a lot of work done before Savannah gets here because otherwise we'll be chit-chatting and I'll get no work done. Uh, <laughs> But I'm sure everybody will understand because I don't get to see it very often uh, and all the things. So um, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, anyway, because I, I, I thought I was doing it and I'm like, gee, this seems bigger. And then I checked like the star size and all that sort of stuff. It's, um, I've cut the right ones as far as I know. Um, I just cut the wrong background, um, I think. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'll figure it all out. Um, I'm pretty sure it was, oh, that I cut there. And it was, oh, God, I hate these patterns, like this. That's S for the outside one. So this one is, right, I did that right. Oh, Q, what size is Q? Oh, that's fine. They're, they're fine. It's just the background that I've cut wrong. It's not a, a live stream <laughs> without um, <laughs> making a mistake, but it's cool because like I can take a little bit off the top. Like I've got enough to work with at the top on that. So um, yeah, that's all right. I can work it all out. Worst case scenario is I unpick the bottom bit and I just make that make that top bit again on that. Especially oh, and two while we were um, after talking to Savannah and all the rest of it, I ended up finding a cream that it's it's got a slightly like a a, a brown hue to it, not a yellow hue. But when I lay it against everything, it sort of blends in, so I'm okay. And I found it like they were sitting together. This one's a darker one, um, and I don't think she's going to get any lighter anyway. So I just said to her, no, don't worry about it, and um, it was all good. Okay, so I have made that um, made that flower, but I have made a critical error. When I was cutting out these uh, squares um, and these rectangles, I've actually ended up making it too big. So, um, like, these ones are the right size, but these top ones are the wrong size. So I'm going to have to try and fluff around with that and get it down to this size. If not, I can basically... I've got enough of this fabric. I can always just make it, uh, another one of these ones and add on. The bottom one is right. So that's fine. I just, when I do things and I'm live and all that sort of stuff, I should know better than to cut when I'm live because all I've done, I've made it too big. So that, that's not a problem. Um, and as you can see, I've got another, this is wide enough and I've got enough here to take off the amount. So they end up the same size. So that's what I'm going to do. And I may just have to trim a little bit off down the bottom here, but um, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to sort it out in some way. So um, if I've got like a, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch on the top there, and then I could possibly take so when I come down to here, yeah, I should be able to, to fluff around that with that a little bit. Worst case scenario is um, I will uh, have to remake another one. But I, I the bottom part of it, the most part is this. And I'm pretty cool that now that I, I'm, I'm comfortable with uh, doing 
uh, finishing off these because we've got this uh, fat, fat quarter that will go with it. It's slightly different, um, but at, at the end of the day, I'm keeping this quilt for myself, so it doesn't really matter. But that is it for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this little behind-the-scenes process of me working on this quilt. I'd just like to say thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really do appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and then that way you're not going to miss out on any future uploads. I'm going to pack up and get on with the rest of my day. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you happy crafting everybody and I'll see you